I was thinking to myself uh, over Easter, I wonder when the late blars will come back into Delft. Maybe they're already there. Well, look what's here at our local farm. About uh, 12 kilometers away from their colony, but looks like they're back. Those are late blars. Spoonbill. Spoonbills, because their beak is like a big long spoon. Spoon in Dutch is label, label R. See if I get my real camera out here, if they're still here. Get the sheep over there. Pretty wild. The other sheep will be coming out from there in a moment. Okay, there they are. Beautiful. Oh, there's the ducklings. They survived the night. Well, it looks like only two maybe survived the night. Could be a different, uh, different nest. There's so many nests now. And you get that kind of stuff going on too. Lars just take it all in, the spoonbill's just enjoying it. Echa, the cage of in Delft. Yeah, they make elaborate, well, not so elaborate nests, kind of clumsy nests, but all together. It's like one big colony of action. They only spend like 70% of their time not eating, something like that, because they feed very, also clumsily, they go through the water with their big spoonbill and go back and forth just as they bump into little things to eat, they, they eat them. Looks like this guy's getting hungry right now. I could imagine after a long uh, fly from North Africa or Southern Spain back up to here, I need to take a break. It's funny, every year I see him here uh, for a couple days and then at most uh, they're going to the water back there. Yeah, the slouchy dogs that they cut down in there. actually see how they forage. Here's a bucket kicker. 
Paris. This is shrimp. These cones mock it out. friends back there. That's wild. Thank you, God.